In this video, we're taking a look at the Cypress Test Runner. We're going to learn how we can use it to run some tests. Thanks for watching Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. This video is part of a video series on Cypress. And in the last video, I showed you how to install Cypress. So now that we have Cypress installed, let's see how we can run it. And this is the folder in which we installed Cypress. So here, I'm going to click on this bar right here and type CMD to open a command prompt window. Let me put this side by side here. And this location in my computer is where my Cypress project resides. And there is more than one way to open Cypress. However, the easiest way to do it is to type in npx Cypress open and then press enter. Now, before I press enter, I want you to take a look at this folder structure over here on the right. This is where the Cypress project is. And notice that right now we only have this folder right here called node modules. And we have these two files. Now, when I run this command, Cypress open, you're going to notice that more things are going to be added to this folder right here, the Cypress folder. And let's go ahead and press enter now. And notice that we're getting a new window. This new window right here is what is called the Cypress test runner. And before I talk about the Cypress test runner, let's take a look at this folder again. Recall that we only had this folder over here, node modules and these two files over here, this one and this one. So these highlighted things on the screen is what we used to have before. However, now we have a new folder called Cypress and we also have a new file called cypress.json. This file and folder get automatically added when we run Cypress for the first time. And you may be wondering why this is. Well, let me show you over here. And by default, Cypress gives us a complete suite of tests that we can start working with right out of the box. There is no need for us to do any coding whatsoever to begin using Cypress. All of these things that you see right here, these are called spec files. These spec files contain tests that we can run. You'll notice that when I open this Cypress folder, we have a folder here called integration. And this integration folder is what we're looking at here in the test runner. Notice that here it says one dash getting started. We also see this folder right here, one dash getting started. If I open this folder, we find one spec file in there to do. So this file contains a test and this is what we're seeing right here. Now let's switch our conversation to the test runner. What is the test runner? So the test runner is what we use to run tests in Cypress. This tool allows us to run our test in GUI mode. So we're going to be able to see what happens when our tests run. So I said that each of these spec files contain tests that we can run. So let's run some of these tests. For example, let's take a look at this to do test right here. So if I just click on this, notice what's going to happen. A browser window is going to open and we're going to see the test execute in front of our eyes. And notice how quickly this test ran. Granted that is only a small test, but it's very fast. And over here on the left side, we can see all green check marks. It means that every step in our test executed successfully. Let me go ahead and close this window. So you may be wondering what browser is this using? So over here on the top right hand side, you're going to see this drop down. Notice that right now it says Electron 94. Electron is the default browser that Cypress utilizes to run our tests. So what is Electron? Electron is basically a slimmed down version of Chrome. It is very fast and very efficient for running tests. In fact, if you hover over this eye right here, you're going to find some information on this browser. Now, if we have other browsers installed on our computer, you're going to be able to see those here. For example, I have Chrome installed, so I can see that here. I also have Edge, so I'm able to execute my tests using these browsers as well. And at the date of recording this video, Cypress supports Chromium-based browsers as well as Firefox. However, there isn't any support for Safari at this time. Let me go ahead and select Chrome right here. And now I'm going to run this test one more time. I'm simply going to click on the spec file to run the test. So this time we're using Chrome and we can see the text executing on the screen. And again, it's running very fast. And let me go ahead and make the screen a little bigger so we can talk about what's going on here. So on the left side here, we can see all the steps in our test. So let's select this first item right here. And here we can see each command that is executing. Here we have a before each. Don't worry, we're going to learn about all this in the future. But for now, this first command says visit this page right here. So it's going to the cypress.io forward slash to do. So this is the page right here. If I hover my mouse over this, 
we can see on the right hand side what the page looks like. And then if I go here, these are all assertions. And this first assertion is expecting to find two items on this list right here. So if I hover my mouse over this, we can see two items right there on the screen. And the next two assertions over here are checking each individual item that it matches a given text. And that's why we see these paths because when we hover over these, let me click on this right here. Notice that it says it's expecting to find walk the dog. And that's exactly what we see on the screen, walk the dog. So this assertion passes. And this is what sets Cypress apart from any other frameworks. We can see the screenshots at every step during test execution. Let's take a look at some more over here. Uh, let's have a look at this one, for example. And notice that when I hover my mouse over these items right here, we can see different areas of the screen being highlighted. So this is what the test is looking at. If I click on this right here, you're going to see this little red dot. That means that this is where Cypress clicked on this button. So that's also a really nice feature. So you can see exactly where the click is happening. Another nice thing about this test runner is that it takes two screenshots. So down here you can see the before and the after. Right now we're looking at before. Our test clicked on this button right here and this is what it looked like before. Now if I click on this after, notice what happened. This gets crossed out. Isn't that nice? So let's go back to the test runner. And over here we can see that our test is still executing. And this is the browser. This is the actual browser where the test ran. This is Chrome but it looks a little bit different. Remember that Cypress tests run alongside the browser. So here we can see that Chrome has opened and Cypress is embedded within the test execution. So your tests are going to execute very fast when they're running in this way. Let me go ahead and stop this test. I'm gonna click stop. Okay, so these are all the different tests that I talked about. And this test right here says how to get started. Then we have some more advanced examples right here. So all of these are tests that we can run. Let's go ahead and run this one over here, for example. Again, we see the browser open and our test is running and it's done executing. Let's go ahead and close this. So today you learned how to open Cypress and how to use the test runner to execute some tests. We also learned how to switch browsers by selecting from this drop down here. And we also learned that the default browser here is Electron. And this is the best browser to use to execute your tests because the execution time is going to be the fastest. If I hover my mouse over this, you're going to notice this option right here. It says open in IDE. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to open this test in an IDE. We're going to be using Visual Studio Code to start modifying some of these tests and even writing our own tests. If you would like to learn more about what Cypress is, please check out the video card above to learn more. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel. It would help me a lot. I'll see you in the next video.